Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review we are looking at the Guardians of the Galaxy Wave of Marvel Legends Yondu figure from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Now if you guys know me, you know that I absolutely hate the movie version of Yondu, mostly because I don't like Michael Rooker very much, and I don't like his portrayal of Yondu. I'm curious what you guys think. Just as a side thing, let's talk about in the comment section, do you guys like the movie version of this character? just curious and it doesn't affect this figure at all but I wanted to bring it up just because I can do that so let's go ahead and look at the figure though it's pretty cool it's got a lot of detail in it surprisingly and some cool accessories so let's get him off the stand and take a closer look this guy stands just about 16 and a half centimeters which makes him just about six and a half inches and like I said he's got a ton of detail we have a bunch of different molded colors we have this marbly reddish brown for the jacket. We have the more reddish red for the inner shirt. We have a lot of paint going on for the inner shirt between those gray straps, the black buttons, or the purplish inside part of the shirt. Lots of detail there. The molded brown holster thingy right there with the painted buckle, that looks really good. The pants are a different color. The boots are a different color. In fact, are those... Yep, it's a separate molded piece again. Hasbro's really impressing me with that. I like that they're molding pieces in different colors and then putting them together. Just like you can see here for the neck. Lately, uh, not lately, previously, they would have just painted the neck blue and then tried to match it to the head and that would have been that. In this case, and in many of the figures in this way, they actually molded a separate piece and then connected them so that they don't have to worry about painting it and there's no messy, ugly lines and that's a really good thing. And then the, there's the blue for the face and the hands, which they did a really good job with the likeness. Unfortunately, it looks just like Michael Rooker. They sculpted the beard, and that's painted, and the teeth are painted and sculpted accurately, and then the eyes are painted very nicely, and then even his mohawk is painted pretty nicely, so that is good. And then we have the alternate head, which has the bigger mohawk and the whistle. His eyes look maybe a little bit more red. I'm not sure if that's intentional, but the mohawk has a lot of nice detail on there. And then the sculpt is nice, and they painted the beard again, so that's good. And then we do have the other accessory, which is his little arrow thingy, which is in a really nice translucent orangish peachish color plastic, so that's cool. And then the arrow itself is painted in a nice gold. And so you can stick that into his holster like that, and it looks like it's flying around. But uh, I don't think it would be moving around that much. I mean, it moves fast, so it would be going in a straight line until it hits whatever it's going to hit and then turn. So it's a little weird that it has that, but it's still a cool idea. And it, it looks nice, so I'll give it to him. I think it would even be better to just be like out on a display stand rather than coming out of the holster. But whatever, you have that option, so no big deal. Oh, and they painted this right here, which I guess is the Nova logo. Uh, is it Nova Force? What's the... I'm, ha I'm drawing a total blank right here, but uh, yeah, so they have that on there. So as far as articulation goes, the head is on, well, it's on a ball peg, obviously, since you have to swap it out, but then you also have the hinge in there, so it's just ah, really stiff, but the, it moves around nicely on the ball peg, and then, of course, you do have the hinge, and it's seated properly again, so that's so nice. I love that they're not sticking the heads way up into the air again, so that's cool. Jacket is a separate piece, so it'll move around as you as you manipulate the figure, so don't worry about that. Shoulders work really well. Get them slightly better than horizontal. Full rotation, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, wrist swivel and hinge, which is pretty standard. So that's cool. Ab crunch wise, let's see if it works. I haven't tried it yet. And you get one notch forward, so and it's not great. And it's very ugly the way it's real angular, not, not ideal. And then it does go back a little bit, but they didn't continue the suspenders, so moral of the story there, don't use the ab crunch, it doesn't work very well at all. You have your waist swivel, so that's good. The holster belt thingy is a separate piece, so that's not going to get in the way at all. For the hips, you can bring the hips pretty far forward if you need to do that. Uh, not so far out to the side. They don't go very far. You do have your thigh swivel in there, which works just fine. Double jointed knee. Should be no problem. Yeah, it goes goes all the way. Like I said, the boots are a separate piece of plastic, so the, there's no paint issues at all. The feet go all the way back. As far as going forward, eh, not quite so much. And then the ankle rocker, eh, it's pretty good ankle rocker. doesn't go off at too much of an angle. So again, unfortunately, as much as I hate this movie character, I actually like him a lot more in the comics. I don't know why I hate him so much here. 
other than Michael Rooker. It's a really solid figure. Other than that ab crunch, it's really nice. So I have to say you should get it. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. We talk about action figures and movies and TV shows and video games and all kinds of fun stuff. So give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Turn on notifications if you want to see more. And in the meantime, keep collecting.